Hey guys, what's up? Sonny Carter here, and in this video, I'm going to share with you a really cool tip on how to stop getting triggered in your relationship or in your marriage. Now, before I give you this cool tip, I'm going to share with you a quick backstory. So, back about seven, eight years ago, I had a friend invite me to a parenting workshop, and the workshop was about how to raise children to be healthy adults. And one of the ways they taught to do that is by understanding um, why we do the things we do, by going back to our past, uh, increasing our awareness, and helping us to understand um, our negative habitual thought patterns and behaviors so that we don't pass those um, to our children, so we don't pass any kind of harmful dysfunction or um, negative habitual behavior patterns to our children. So it's all about increasing the awareness of the parent um, to help us better um, raise our children to become more healthier adults. And so when I went through this workshop, I had this really kind of epiphany. I had this kind of enlightenment. I was like, what, what if we can do the same process for our relationships, for our marriage, right? And so, um, and so I started to understand and realize that in order to stop getting triggered, in order to understand like why I coped the way I did and why I got um, certain emotional patterns and behavior patterns and thought patterns kept showing up in my relationship, I had to go and understand and go back to my past to understand why I behaved the way I did now. So in other words, in order for me to, to transform my present, I have to go back to my past to understand the experiences that I've had to help me understand and become enlightened more on why I behave the way I do, okay? Why I get triggered the same way, why I have certain emotions of mistrust or abandonment or any kind of negative patterns. And so when this started to happen, it really changed the game for me, my relationship and my marriage and in my life because some of the same habitual thought patterns and behaviors that kept showing up in my life were also showing up in my marriage. And I didn't even know why. It was kind of like a knee-jerk reaction, right? And so the tip I give to you is that if you want to stop getting triggered emotionally by your relationship, if you want to stop having certain behavior patterns, stop showing up. If you want to stop coping a certain way in your relationship, um, I encourage you, the biggest tip I can give you is to increase your awareness of why you do the things you do, why you behave the way you do, why you feel the way you do at times. By going back and, and understanding some of the experiences, um, negative ex or harmful experiences that you had in your past, okay, or maybe if it wasn't negative, just any experiences that you think might have caused this issue, anything dramatic or anything that might have happened to you um, and go back and kind of connect the dots, okay? Because every subconscious thought that we have that drives our behavior pattern comes from um, when we were being raised as children. Because as children, we don't really understand what's happening to us when we have certain experiences. We just internalize the message, message that we feel. We don't have the, um, the capacity yet as children to be like, oh, okay, this happened to me, but it probably wasn't this person's intent. Um, they were probably just upset or whatever or whatnot. Um, we don't have that capacity as children. As children, we just internalize what we feel. We take that message on. Okay, whether that message is, you know, um, people who love me will eventually leave me, or whether that message is, um, I cannot trust authority because in my home, maybe, you know, um, maybe someone was abused or, um, was neglected, right? And they can't trust authority. So um, whatever subliminal message is there, it's what's driving you to behave a certain way, to get triggered a certain way in your relationship, okay? I got a lot of sun over here. Um, there you go. And to, um, and to emotionally feel a certain way constantly. So, um, so we have to increase our awareness by going back to our past so we can see ourselves in a new light, so we can see the world in a new light and be able to make true change in the moment instead of being, and then instead of being reactionary when something happens to us or when our spouse or partner says something that may trigger us, instead of being reactionary and getting defensive and arguing or getting upset or shutting down emotionally, um, now we can understand exactly what caused that feeling to happen to us, right? And instead of being reactionary and, and giving into that feeling, now we can say, Okay, you know, now we can be open with our partner and be more vulnerable, help them understand exactly where that feeling came from, um, why my past, where did my past cause that feeling, and then now the partner can feel more connected to you because now they feel like they understand you better, they can help you, and they can connect with you more. So I hope that makes some sense. 
Um, so there you go. That's your tip for not getting triggered in a marriage or in a relationship. And uh, I hope it helped. If it did, shoot me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to put out some really cool more content like this that's uh, valuable to help relationships and marriages. And uh, love to hear your feedback as well. So thanks for watching, guys. And have an amazing day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.